this corn won't be used to make popcorn. We will calculate the speed of light. Hey, I'm Wiam and today we're going to calculate the speed of light. So as you may know, the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second. Can you imagine how big that is? Well, the energy required to put in motion this coin in half of speed of light is the energy released by the nuclear bomb Hiroshima that destroyed the whole city. Before, they used to think that light is motionless until the Arab Ibn al Haytham that considered light as having a speed. But then, the first serious experiment was conducted by Galilei. Unfortunately, it didn't lead to any result. Ramer was the first person to give us a value for the speed of light. Romer noticed a delay between the theoretical eclipse and the eclipse seen from Earth, and then, using the time of delay, the distance, he then concluded the speed of light. And the Foucault Fuso experiment. This is Fuso's experiment. The concept is really simple. We have a light source, a rotating wheel with a hole, and then a mirror very far from the light source, which will reflect light. As you can see, light goes through the hole and then the mirror reflects it back here. But as you can see, it is blocked. But if the hole is right here, it will go through again. If we spin by the wheel at a sufficient speed, it will go back again. We have the, the speed of the spinning wheel and we have the distance. So we can figure out the time. We know the distance between the mirror and the light source and the, and the time. So we can calculate the speed of light. Basically, we will calculate the speed of light using the speed of a microwave because they're both electromagnetic radiations. This is a wave. As you can see, there are peaks, which in which coin will hit faster than other parts. So this is the wavelength. We will calculate the half of it. As I've told you earlier, some parts will hit faster than others. So So we'll calculate this distance, it's 6.2 centimeters. We need to multiply this distance by 2 and then by the frequency of a microwave to find the speed of a microwave, basically the speed of light. The microwave experience is not scientifically correct, but we'll still dig into it to understand more the concept. Interesting fact, if you want to put me in motion in half of speed of light, you will need the energy sufficient to guarantee the electrical consumption of Moroccans during 44 centuries. I would like to ask you a question. What would happen if we decrease the speed of light to 100 km per second? Would that change anything?